All right, it's been long time I posted a video on my channel and I'm back with an interesting and a unique video. We are going to set a highway and city mode in Domnar and along with that a DIY blind spot detection system that works in the highway mode. This video will be split into parts so that you can follow along and make your own. So let's get started. Kindly note that the power supply for this system is based on the previous video that I already made on NS200 fog lamp. If you haven't watched that, find the link in the card above. Now let's make the blind spot detection system on Dominar mirror. So the Dominar mirror is pretty much glued onto its metal frame, and as you are aware, it's one of the solid mirrors to work with. Now speaking of mirror's visibility. This section will be occupied by your hand and shoulders compared to the other side which has a excellent visibility. So we will be focusing on adding the blind spot indication light on this section. Now to separate the mirror from its frame you need a heat gun or high power hair dryer. Heat the mirror for 10 to 15 minutes until it becomes too hot to touch. Now slowly pry open the mirror. Use additional heat as required and do not force it to pry out. let the mirror come out by itself after removing the mirror there are four screws to be removed in order to remove the rear frame be careful as the metal frame will be very hot After removing the screws, take out the metal frame. Now, I have made a mark on the rear part of the frame to drill hole for the LEDs to fit in. In order to drill this out, I am using two metal drill bits. The smaller one is of 5 mm and the bigger one is of 8 mm in size. Now in order to drill this, I'll be using this electric drill and the link to purchase all these components will be given in the description below of this video. After adding the 5 mm drill bit, we can start drilling. but if you directly drill metal with metal it generates a lot of heat which will damage the bit eventually so what i have done is i have used a metal vessel with some water and placed the metal frame in it this way if you start drilling the bit and the frame will be cooled with surrounding water and doesn't cause any harm once the frame is drilled and the hole is enlarged this is how it looks like now i have bought this ultrasonic reverse parking sensors from amazon the link to buy this is in the description i have removed the display and its casing as you can see and now we have to separate the display itself from its control board Now using a soldering iron I'll be separating the board from the display itself and I'll be fast forwarding this process to shorten the video Once the board is out Desolder the buzzer and connect two wires to the board's positive and negative lead. Mm -hmm. 
This is a high power LED SMD chip that I'll be using for this project. This is a red color one and it is very important to get with a high brightness so that it will be visible in sunlight too. I have salvaged this from an old taillight assembly of NS200. Now connect the display board to its main control board and power everything and check if the light is working perfectly. Once this is done, solder the wires to its respective terminals as shown. You can see how bright the LED is despite of it being very tiny and you cannot look at it directly for a longer time. Now place the LED into the hole that you drilled and glue the wires using Fabric Wick. This is a quick check on how does it look on the frame. Now to install it securely, I'm using a red M seal. Take a small quantity of its resin and hardener and mix it thoroughly to make it one. Now fill this mixture properly as shown. Once this is done and the resin is cured, check everything if it's working properly. 